this is Vince Tester with Ocean Marine in Gulfport, Mississippi. Today I'd like to talk to you about the Key West 239FS. We're going to start off taking a look at the trailer. This is a Sport Trail trailer. These trailers are custom made for us right down in Long Beach. They have a jig for all of our boat hulls. So whenever we send them an order for trailers, the trailer is specifically built for that boat where the boat slips right on and off the trailer. Very easy to load and unload. Very easy to haul. It's all aluminum construction. It has the Vortex 100,000 mile hubs, torsion bar axles, so it has the surge brakes. Back on the back of the boat, you've got your 250 Yamaha four stroke engine. You've got your Linco trim tabs. Also, a nice little feature on the boat if you're out floating around on a tube or wading in around the islands, you've got a little cooler back here to keep some drinks in so you don't have to board the boat to get a cold drink. And you also have your Garmin transducer back here. All right, now once again, this is the Key West 239 FS. FS standing for Family Sportsman. This boat is the best of both worlds. If you're going out with the family for a cruise, you're just riding around, you've got your backrest here, padded cushions up front, you've got your removable bow filler table here. This will come right out if you need this room for fishing. There's also a pedestal that goes in here where you can raise this up for a tabletop. We can have a nice shore lunch, play some cards and watch the sun go down, many things. For the fishermen, you've got your large fish box here with a macerator. And also, here's a nice big cooler. You can put a case of cold drinks in there, a couple of bags of ice, you're set for the day. In front, you've got your anchor locker. And also, you have your pop-up cleats up on the back. Inside the center console. You've got your cranking and house batteries, nice little porta potty, and room for storage. Then on the helm, you've got your tilt steering wheel, you've got your Garmin Echo Map SV Fish Finder GPS unit, your Yamaha Comlink gauges, and your Polk Audio. This boat has a six speaker system two in the bow, two in the stern, two in the T top. So even at high speeds, you can still play your music and hear it at the same time. Up in the T-top, you have your LED lighting. You also have your anchor light up here. So here is your E-box. If you want to mount any additional electronics on the boat, this is a good place to put your VHF radio on the boat. You also have a nice little storage area down here for wallets and keys so you can keep track of them. They don't bounce out of the boat. And you also have a U.S. auxiliary input right here. Here's your trim tab indicators and all your marine grade switches for your horn accessories, live wells, macerator, navigation and anchor lights. They're also all circuit breaker protected. On your leaning post, you can either comfortably sit on a cruise or if you're going out and it's a little bit rough, you can fold your bolsters up and use it as a straight leaning post. You also have your bolsters on the side. If you're fighting a big fish, you've got something to lean against. Pad your knees so you don't get all beat up in a rough sea. You also have rod storage in your guns. Also, you have raw water and freshwater wash down on the boat. You can strip all of these cushions off the boat, bow and stern, the boat, take the fresh water, wash the salt water out. When you get in, the boat's already clean. You've got your drains back here to go overboard into your scuppers and then under your seats in the back, you have storage, wet or dry, these do drain overboard. In the middle you've got your recirculating LED lit live well and you have storage on the other side. The wash down hoses for your fresh and raw water wash down come with the boat. Also on this 239 you've got an Igloo 94 quart cooler. You've got your fish box up front, so you can use this for lunches, drinks, whatever you prefer. Back your leaning post, you've got rod holders here and up top on your T-top. Plenty of rod storage on this boat in the gunnels here and the T-top. You also have rod holders in the gunnels if you're going to run a trolling spread. Also, you've got an entry door here where you can come up your ladder, your swim ladder, come on the boat. Now on the outside of the boat, you've got these very high profile lifting strakes. Helps get you up on plane quick. Also on your shines, this is a concave surface here. This helps to push the water down, keep it from splashing up. It's one of the attributes of the boat that help keep you dry. 
The other big attribute on the boat is this nice big bow flare. This keeps you very dry. This is a very soft riding, very dry boat. Also on the back of the hull, you got the step hole. This helps you get up on plane quick and it keeps you on plane at a lower speed. Once again, this is the Key West 239 FS Family Sportsman and I'm Vince Tester with Ocean Marine Group. We're located on Highway 49 on the west side, just a couple of miles south of I-10. Come by and see us and we'll put you in one of these today. Mm -hmm.